Hi, this is Sharon from Blooming Doodles, and today I'm going to show you how to make puppy pacifiers. So, a puppy pacifier is something to keep your puppy occupied when you're busy, when it's teething, whatever. So, I use a lot of Kongs of different type. Kong is one brand name. That's this one, this one. These are adult size. This is one. These are all stuffable. Here's some really big ones. You can stuff those. These you just put treats in and the treat falls out. So many adult type ones. And then these are the puppy ones we're gonna make. So starting with some a little bit of puppy food. And I'm gonna add some different ingredients. <clears throat> and if you're getting a puppy from me, you get a puppy pacifier with recipes. I put some dog biscuits in there little puppy ones these are peanut butter ones and I just break those in half and put those in I can hear some puppies they want to get out and play I also use white rice just put a spoonful so I'm not making a whole bunch of these up right now pumpkin this is only for dogs, so that's why I can use the same spoon. Otherwise, I'd kind of be gross, wouldn't it? So, plain canned pumpkin. Plain Greek yogurt. I just use the Walmart brand of great value. And put a blob of that in there. There's a couple different ways to do this. Um, I've seen people stuff their and then soak them in water. I just add a little bit of hot water to them when I'm making them. So I'm going to start my kettle boiling. So that was the yogurt. I add for the puppies sweet potato and turkey. This is another Walmart brand. And I just put a squeeze of that in. And that's that. And then this is the puppy food I use. Purina One Healthy Puppy Lamb and Long Grain Rice. Put a couple spoonfuls of that in. And then that's what it looks like. I'm going to mix all that together. And then I add my hot water. So it's kind of a pasty consistency. Now, you can make them with all kinds of things. Blueberries, sodium-free or low-salt chicken broth, uh, frozen baby carrots. I use a lot of vegetables as treats for my adult dog. So you want to kind of this mushy kind of consistency. My water is boiling. So add that. Put a little bit in there and get it kind of wet and mushy. So with young puppies, what I'll do is I start loading the Kong. I call them all Kongs, no matter what brand they are. Or just a puppy pacifier. And I do it kind of loose. I don't pack them really tight. The adults I pack super, super tight. So kind of like that. So it's just loose. I do a few of those. There's a different shape to one. I'm not putting any fresh vegetables in this because their puppies are still kind of just eating the same. These are the same foods they normally eat. And you want to give your puppy this. Let's say you're at home, you're busy, and you need the puppy to occupy itself. This is a good treat to have on hand. And what I'm going to do is after I get these loaded, I have a bag, puppy pacifiers. I put the date on it. I pop them in the bag and put them in the freezer. Then they're ready to go. Now when I'm starting puppies out, I'm going to give it to them just like this so they know how to dig it out of there. Otherwise, they'll just get frustrated and they really won't understand. Adults know how to get it out of there for sure. But that is how you create a puppy pacifier. Mushy food in there loose. 
Always make sure if you have one of these that it has an air hole at the other end of it. And that is the lesson for today. Chopstick's a handy thing to have to kind of poke that down in there. And I have this kind too, it has a bigger hole. It's a toy and a treat. It's also made by Kong. It's the Kong Binky. If you have a puppy that doesn't, that's not really a good eater, you can put their toy, their food in here and they'll play with it. Or if your puppy eats too fast, then they have to work for it. This is another one too, a squirrel one. That just has a tiny hole, so I don't think I'm gonna stuff that one. I'll just put a treat in there like this. And they just kind of will fall out when they roll around. And this is the last one I'm doing. And then I'll get them in the bag and ready to freeze. Now the other way to do this is you make them all up dry, make put a get a pan of water, and then set them with the small hole face down in the water, or you know, downward in the water so that it soaks up. And that'll help pack it tight. That's for older dogs, puppies loose. That's a calm.